Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. So this session was very tough, very uncomfortable. And so many times I thought, well, why don't I just go home? Uh, it was raining. I'm on a motorbike. Finish work. Most stuff is wet. And... Uh, my lower back pain, my, I should say more uh, precisely, my SI joint pain is hurting me. It's stiff and painful. And I might have some lofty ideas of going for 170 or 150, I think. I think that added more. See how when I go down, one side goes slightly forward. I just cannot seem to control it. And this is lightweight. I'm just doing my best to go down, but something is happening. It is stiff, painful, and I'm just trying to punch through the session. Like before every set, I'm just thinking, what is it that I should do to feel better, to get a bit more positive, just to get some oomph going towards my Warm up work sets. My warm up sets is where the preparation happens. I hope it is the case with most people. But some days, some sessions, it just does not happen. I think uh, it has got to do with your mental and physical state. Physical state is something that we encounter every day. We are never in the best shape. And that is not an issue. That has not been my issue for sure. I'm. We always have some niggles and pains and aches and we just go through it. Uh, but that physical pain definitely um, influences your mental state, your mentality as you go and approach whatever that it is. And in this case, it is my session. I might have had idea of, I think I'm pretty sure that I had an idea of doing 170 kg and I was so far off from that, so far off. Look at me, I'm, I'm even confused whether I've got the right plates or not. So I just carried on, carried on. And I think some of you might be able to relate. Sometimes your day feels like that. Sometimes your shift at work feels like that. Sometimes a conversation with your partner might feel like that. And... Unfortunately, for some people, their whole life, their day-to-day -day life, I should say, they must feel like that. It is a very small representation of that. And by that, I mean my workout where I was just, just not, it was just not happening. And uh, then I remember watching a video about uh, ancient Greek culture and this philosopher called Seneca. Look at me, my bar is going off the hook. Uh, I was just not happy. The body language is telling you. That's why the video is slightly longer. It is focusing on how my built up was incorrect. I was just very negative, couldn't pay attention. Anyway, so yeah, I got this very beautiful courage quote and, and courage is is glorified. Courage is put as a very high value and when people think of it, it is connected and associated with acts of heroism, doing something larger than life. And then I came across this quote saying, you know, as simple as what Seneca has said. And it is so good. Sometimes even to love, live is an act of courage. Just to wake up i suppose for some people it's an act of courage so i took a lot from that it, it it was on my mind not not on this session but i suppose it um the quote on the courage um envelops me you know there are days it's not going to happen and you just have to keep going on look i'm actually putting chalk on my hand for a squat <laughs> it must have been that wet Anyway, so it went on and uh, I think, as you would see, I would say I packed in 
rather early in the middle of the workout because the pain was pretty bad and uh thankfully i have the camera where i can go and watch my f- form um and uh, i was like no it is not happening to me for me to have my uh squat safety is so high uh, just shows that but anyway i i i have come across several examples in different ways when things are going tough you know uh, and and there are quotes of all sorts but i could not you could connect with them quite easily because it is an act uh, of positivity about courage but this one was really different sometimes the an act of living itself is sometimes living itself is an act of courage going in a daily life waking up in the morning you know to me by far it is one of the most difficult thing to do still i think a lot about it to wake up in the morning and i would say so because i am absolutely a heavy sleeper i sleep like a dead man like a dead log and uh, i have done a lot of observation about this when i wake up it takes me like good half an hour to just actually wake up this could have lot to do with the sleep that that i have from doing decades i should say now of shift work and uh yes all over the place anyway i i think sleep has a lot to do with it as well and your mental state if you're sleep deprived you cannot function at a high peak which is what lifting for me is my lifting session is the session where i'm at the very peak of my mental state very clear in my mind what's going to happen and to some degree physical state as well but sometimes it can be exactly opposite of that and this session was just that i remember watching a documentary look at my heels coming up this is so silly my heels just came up i remember watching a documentary on weightlifting mostly it was about pyros dimas the legendary weightlifter from greece and he gave some really good insights about his training which was wonderful it is good to know about some of the legend that are there in sports what they actually do behind the scenes the things that i we don't get to see and i'm very interested in that we are all interested in what amazing things they do yes we are but what about behind the scenes what do they do what is their day like what do they eat and he was explaining about uh coming under the wings of the greek coach who had um uh, implemented a more tougher training program which is bulgarian weightlifting program which is lifting almost every every day pretty much and heavy and he said um that it took him a while to get used to it and in that documentary he mentioned that there are days i come and i'm not feeling good i cannot move i'm not mobile and it's just a drag and that's exactly how i was feeling and he mentioned another champion lifter who was more experienced and seasoned than him i believe saying that whoever he was he would mention him and he would come and he would start doing his own warm up and he didn't feel and just leave the gym he will not worry about he will not go on he will not try hard whereas piros was the ones who who would always go try hard and somehow get to the groove i think that's what happened this day in this session for me i just could not get into any groove uh as far as voices are concerned there are voices in the head saying go home and just take it easy and um, i could not have because i had committed to come <laughs> especially riding into the rain so i was happy that i'm at least made that effort uh although i realized you know the the effort was not going to bear any fruit at least not in the sense of you know getting stronger uh, but once you go through such difficult sessions days or weeks or for some people even months it it is going to leave an everlasting impression on you look at me i'm just changing my stance in the mid 140 kg just so slow yes so such experiences uh, will leave you better off it'll leave you that yes you just you still did try 
that day i look at i'm just so dejected and not it's just not happening the pain was too much yeah so i think everyone will agree to what courage means um and everyone will have their own perspective on it everyone will apply it in their own way what courage is i think the day the gone are the days when courage means you're a warrior and you go on a war and you kill or get killed and all that i think those days are gone we have a lot more days to live in our life than our ancestors ancestors of back then we have a lot more days in our lives to deal with stuff situations problems mental anguish which we never have known our ancestors had never had known the longer you live the more days that you have there will be some new complicated situation and challenges i don't think that having a pretty low quality and struggling session is one of them it isn't by far it is not an existential crisis at all look at me i'm just wondering what's going on should i do the next set but there is still a lot to learn from such experiences the experience like this i don't think so it has as much of a profound learning as somebody who is going through cancer and has to muster courage and learn from it but there is still a lot to learn from it i learned that you know two things um, try your hard and in the middle if it doesn't work get out it's okay at least you got there you did something i wish sometimes i could just do something else like push ups or leg press or lat pull down and i might have to start doing that if the squats are not happening that day if i had planned to do squats if i had a certain number on my mind if it doesn't happen i'm just going to switch to something else at least i'm moving at least i'm in the gym that could be a thing i suppose having a plan b could be one thing like okay if the squats are not going to work then i will just do i don't know just go on a bike exercise bike go on do some even dumbbell curls i don't care that could be one thing but overall i i think um we are inherently built to have resilience and that resilience is displayed in form of the courage that courage is displayed in the form of the actions that we continue to take in 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 the middle of adversity um and that could mean lots of different thing to different people of different degrees of adversities so i'm not here to saying that uh, my struggle with not being able to lift 150 kg or 140 kg and my session not going well was the most difficult thing it wasn't it is all what you can squeeze out of it what you squeeze out of it is your learning is your takeaway and i just squeezed one thing that it's worth trying and also that if you can't try that's fine there's another day there's a tomorrow there is a moment right after this dark depressing and sad moment that moment could be yours that moment is there to be grabbed and that's just what courage is to wait for the next moment that could be yours that you can claim that you can say okay this is my moment and i can do something here i reckon i'm i'm not sure if i packed up at this point 150 kg is loaded i'm pretty sure oh, i'm adjusting my camera i can't think of I've, i better forget this session soon <laughs> yeah 150 kg coming up I reckon I got a single rep. I was look at me. My head is down. It is so interesting your body really tells. Your body language never lies. Body never lies. It's like as if inside there is another person who's moving that way, which is your mental person, and then you're moving your actual body is moving that way as well. All right, here we go. 150 kg. knees out but down, down. no nah, it's not deep enough 
so tight I was feeling and just could not be bothered. That's it. Packed up. Had enough. That was enough. Anyway, guys, I hope you didn't find this too negative. And if you did, I hope I took you to a journey where it was all negative and then it was all clear. Because that's what life is. Series of moments where you have opportunity to just come out of the fog and just be clear and move on with your life. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.